Hi guys, I wanted to show you um, what I've got in the uh, slow cooker, the crock pot today. This is my crock pot Instapot thing, and I'm using it on the slow cook uh, setting today. I fixed a big pot of vegetable soup, uh, and I'll take the lid off here in just a second and uh, show you what I got going on in there. Hang on just a second. Okay, I, I wanted to get me a spoon. I'm gonna take the lid off. This is the first time I've taken it off since uh, uh, I had put the slow cooker on. That's a big old pot of soup, isn't it? Uh, we'll be, the kids come home tonight from their dad's. Uh, they do seven days at their dad's house. And then they come home to us and uh, we have them for seven days. So Brentley, the 13 year old, uh, and Ashley, Ashley's in the master's program. So she works and goes to school and they like to take leftovers. So I fixed a big, oh, oh, I see a bay leaf I need to dig out. I bet I just push that on down in there. Somebody will find it, we'll get it. But uh, it's got potatoes, carrots, cabbage, corn, green beans, sweet peas, uh, tomatoes. I put beef better than bouillon in it and of course tomato paste. I sauteed the vegetables originally, the onions, the celery and carrots and uh, olive oil and um, a little, just maybe two tablespoons of olive oil and then I, uh, oh I see one right there. Let me see if I can get that without burning myself to pieces. I'll just put that on that aluminum foil. Here, I've got some uh, focaccia bread that I'm fixing to stick in the oven. The oven just clicked off, it's preheated. I've gotta add um, some flaky sea salt. Uh, that's that mold on, you know, the coarse salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle that kind of here and there all over this and I've already put the dimples in it and that's my timer going off telling me that it's time to do the bread. Um, but I'm putting this mold on salt all over it and uh, then I'm gonna sprinkle just a, this is rosemary, uh, is it focaccia? Isn't that how you say it? Focaccia bread? I'm gonna put a little dried rosemary on the top of it and uh, I think it bakes for about 20 minutes at 450. Um, but I've got this homemade bread and saltines. I was gonna make Mexican cornbread uh, also, but I think I'll wait and do that tomorrow, to be honest with you. I, I'm not feeling too good. Um, I don't know if, if y'all know this, but we were diagnosed with mono on February, uh, no, not February, January the 9th. And she said we'd probably be feeling bad uh, until sometime in March. And um, and to be honest with you, we have we we have it has been rough. Um, there's another bay leaf that I dug out of there. I put three in, so I got one more to dig out and try to find, or somebody's going to get it in their bowl. Um, but this is a you know having this soup is a good way uh, for the. Uh, me to oh I see it there it is right there um that's a good way for me to get uh, some vegetables in my grand girls and I think we need a good bit of vegetables you know seeing how we've been so sick and everything there's the three bay leaves so I got them out of there the broth isn't real thick I tell you what I might do um I'm gonna put that on brown sear and let that boil real hard for a little bit and maybe it'll thicken up that broth but the vegetables and stuff is real tendered um, but there's there's a whole lot of vegetables in here and I'm hoping I, I tasted of the broth earlier um, but I put garlic in it a whole lot of garlic and it's got that beef and vegetable better than bouillon uh, but I didn't put any meat in here it's just strictly vegetable and I'll stick this uh, in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when I get it out all right so I'll be back in just a little bit it's really bubbling now. I got it uh, boiling hard because that'll help thicken up that uh, 
soup broth or juice or whatever you want to call it you know make it a little little thicker and I got the little bowls and the big bowls set out and everything ready for everybody to fix them a bowl and the bread is the uh, the focaccia bread is still in the oven and I'll have to take it out and put it on this for a little bit um, to, to cool before we can cut it but it, it'll be ready pretty soon the girls aren't here yet they don't get here till six sometimes a little bit after and I think it's uh, let's see what time is it now it's it's 529 so they'll be here it'll be ready by the time they get here Okay, I took the focaccia bread out of the oven, and I like to left it in there too long. It clicked on, and it got a little dark in a couple of places. I got to let it set on here for 10 minutes, and then I can transfer it and put it on this little thing right here until it's completely cool. So I've got Alexa set uh, for, oh, I'm surprised she didn't click on, uh, for a cooling timer, and then I'll transfer it over, and I'll show you that too, okay? Okay, that's it out of the pan. It's got a cool and I'll cut it. Um, hang on a second and let me uh, cut a little piece of it and let's see what kind of crumb it has in it. I hope it's got some big old bubbles. Well, it doesn't have very big bubbles and it. it's got a few, but I tasted a little piece of it and it's real good. It tastes real good.